Hi everyone, um, this is a Salisbury scooter from 1947, made in LA, California. And uh, they only made about a thousand of these, they were never imported to Europe. And um, they actually went out of business in uh, the late 40s. So um, we've got this one from Stoffy's Garage in Austria. And Stoffy's an old friend of mine, he gave it to me to electrify. So this is now converted to electric. Originally it was a 320cc four stroke and it was a bit um, temperamental as you can imagine to start and run and the electrification makes it um, a lot easier to use. So um, we've got here the on and off keyless ignition that we put on all our electric kits and then this is the safety switch so on and off so that's actually on. Now to get it to run you literally just press this accelerator pedal and this is your rear brake. It was meant to be built for um, people, to, easy to use, it's just like a car basically. And um, yes, go, stop, that's all it was meant to do. No front brake. And what we have done is a rear brake obviously, but there's um, also regenerative braking in the electrical system, which basically, if you take your foot off the throttle, touch the uh, brake, it, it, the, the electric motor will help slow it down as well as its original brakes, which certainly helps with the safety of it. Now, um, it has a battery in the old, um, it's the boot if you like, and in here we have done, it's a different type of an electric conversion than our normal swinging arm with a hub motor. Because we didn't want to damage this bike in any way, uh, it originally ran on a chain, just like a motorcycle. So I've rigged up uh, this four kilowatt motor with a little chain here that runs its drive shaft that runs the old uh, chain system. And this had, in this area of space, the old engine, which was huge, four stroke. It was actually a CVT automatic system as well. So it was just, uh, push and go but uh, we've really uh, made a like for like change on that so it's still chain driven to keep it all original but no damage done to the bodywork in any way Um, it's a nice smooth ride and uh, I think it'll do 40 mile an hour but I wouldn't like to go up to that speed because being so long it's it's a bit unsteady on the you know power, power speeds but um, it's great fun just for running around town on basically just in a 20 30 mile zone perfect for that and just a bit of fun to, to show off and uh, turn a few heads